Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually level up extremely fast and easy by using this very simple RP method in GTA 5 Online. Now if you're not familiar with this week's weekly update you're actually going to have 50% more money in RP on the air freight cargo sales mission. So of course that's something that they haven't done in the game in a while. So, you know, now is the best time to take advantage of it if you guys own a hangar. If you don't own a hangar and don't know how, what you want to do is actually go to your phone, go over to internet, you want to then click on money and services, go over to Final Foreclosures Maze Bank, click on that, click enter site, and now you can see we have a bunch of options to choose from. Now, to make this a bit quicker and easier, on the top right -hand corner, you just want to click on hangers. And now you have five of them to choose from. Two of them are going to be down here at the International Airport. And three are going to be up here at the Air Base. So, of course, you want to go ahead and choose which one. Also, they're going to be discounted for this week. So, now is the best time to purchase one. Once you have that purchase, what you want to do is just make your way there. Now, before I go and continue on with the video, I would first just like to go ahead and get them with their daily shoutouts. Which is actually going to go to all of these people. So everyone you see below the screen here have been subscribed since the last video was published. So thank you for that. And if you guys want to be featured in the next shout out. All you got to do is like this video. Subscribe to your channel. And also hit comment down below. Not only does this help with the video's ratings and actually help me. But it's also going to help you out by getting a shout out. So with that being said let's just go ahead and make our way over to our hangar. Inside of your hangar, what you want to do is make your way over to your computer. Now, I'm not exactly sure if um, every single hangar looks the same or not. But if it does, you just want to go up these stairs here on the left side of your hangar. And there's going to be a small room. Enter it and there's going to be a computer that you can access through here. And this is actually where you can buy cargo and sell it. So let's go ahead and just access the laptop or sorry, the desktop. And here we go. So basically, this is a massive screen. This is an overview of everything. It shows the total stock I have currently, which is only one. Which I'm actually surprised I have one of them. And this actually shows you the stock levels for each independent like source. Such as art and antiques, jewelry and alcohol. Or sorry, tobacco and alcohol. Chemicals, narcotics, and everything like that. This tells us our entire thing with success rate, our sales completed, uh, total earnings, which... Does say 20 million, but that's actually not really true. Or maybe it is. I don't actually believe I got 20 million though. So from here, what you want to do is go to source. This is actually where you can select supplies, go collect them, and return it back to your hangar. And there's going to be a variety of options to choose from. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure which one is better or which one sells for more. So what you can do from here is just go over to source any type and then confirm it. What it will do then is actually give you a mission to do. So for this one, what we're having to do is actually take the counterfeit goods and deliver them back to the hangar. And for this specific mission, we're having to destroy the jammers to reveal the cargo location. This is our last jammer to destroy, and there we go. So it looks like now they actually found the coordinates to it, and it's, it's probably in a moving vehicle because it's actually moving right now. So let's go ahead and collect it, deliver it back to the hangar, and that is it. By the way, this jammer part took a very long time to do, and it was just annoying. I think it was like five or six minutes we spent doing that. And there we go. We got our first delivery done. Took a little bit longer than I really wanted it to, but, you know, it is what it is. Sadly, it's not like the cargo crates where if you deliver it, you get RP for it. That's not actually the case, and you don't even get money. You actually don't get anything at all for doing it. But for selling it, you get a lot of money and a good boost of RP. So now that we actually have one cargo in storage, what we're going to do is go ahead and sell it right away. Now the reason for that is because no matter whether you sell one crate or like three crates, you're still going to get the same amount of RP. And the cooldowns are independent to whatever type of crate that you get. So let's go ahead and go over to our computer. Let's go over to sell now, what you notice here is that there's actually two different spots. We have one in counterfeit goods and one in medical supplies. If we were to sell one, they would have around a three-minute cooldown for this. But this one won't have a cooldown. 
So we're going to go ahead and sell this one first. So we're going to go and sell this for $45,000. And there we go. We dropped it off. And now he has delivered the vehicle back to the hangar for an additional RP reward. Which, of course, we're going to do because that's the whole point of this video. And then we'll see how much RP we got in total. And just like that, we got it delivered. Now, you couldn't see how much RP it was. It was around 5,000 RP. So, yeah, hopefully I can show that clip if I can. But I uh, totally forgot to narrate that part. Anyway, so we got our first 5,000 RP, which is really good. We got that in under 10 minutes. So now what we're going to do is, because we actually do have one more crate... We're going to go back and go ahead and sell that. One thing I do want to go and talk about is to make this thing a little bit easier and just faster. You want to make sure to have your small location set to your hangar. Now, whenever you're actually delivering cargo, you're never going to need this. But sometimes when you actually sell the crates, they don't have you going back to the hangar to get like bonus RP. Sometimes you just get done with the mission there. So when you get done with it, go ahead, go into a new invite only session. And it should spawn you right in your hangar. And that will be way quicker than having to go all the way back. But that's only going to be whenever you don't have to go back to your hangar. Whenever you have to purchase crates or sell them. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and sell the rest of it for $45,000. Now for this one, what it looks like we're having to do is actually enter the delivery vehicle. Which this time is going to be a cargo bob. Now from here I want us to collect a container and there's actually two of them in total. And I guess we just deliver it to the spot and then drop it. Okay well that's pretty good. I don't know why he's giving us two crates for one sell but okay. And there is our second one complete. So hopefully that is it. It actually says return to the hangar for you know extra RP. There we go. You can see here we got a massive boost of RP as well as $43,000. Now I'm going to try to show the RP on the first video that I did but I couldn't really get it. Oh, it's, it actually tells you you get around 2,250 RP for a bonus of delivering the vehicle. Now that is the entire cycle of this video. You want to go over and get a crate and deliver it back to the warehouse and then you want to go right back and sell it and just keep doing that progress over and over again. So hopefully that was a good example of it. I really didn't feel like it was, but I hope so. I hope to show the recording of me getting the RP for the first time for the first crate. But there we go. So now what I'm going to do is set a timer. And I'm going to try to get as much RP as I can within 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and we're going to start it right now. So out of 20 minutes of me doing this... I made around $18,000, which is really good. So if you were to do this back-to-back, -back, you know, no breaks, no nothing, you can make around $54,000 in one hour. So there you guys go. Hopefully you did find this video helpful. Um, I wish I was able to do more, but I'm just, I'm just done for right now. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. For more GTA 5 videos and content like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.